welcome all to the end of a long hiatus. Now, I know personally that the only thing you guys love more than a long introduction are YouTubers who do any brand representation at all. Ever. So here's what I'm gonna do. We'll skip the long introduction and we'll dive right into the brand representation. This video is brought to you by Graphic Stock. Graphic Stock has the largest unlimited download library of vectors, graphics, images of all kinds. Now, I use a lot of stock photos for my job, and I use graphic stock for my life and for my work, and I just gotta tell you, I actually use this, guys. And I have to tell you, if you've been looking into stock photos, you know they're crazy expensive. I'm talking like $45 an image. But graphic stock gives you an unlimited amount of photos with membership. So you can go ahead and click the description box below if you want to start a seven-day trial. All these pictures are royalty-free. That's really great if you don't want to get sued for stupid reasons. Anyway, oh my gosh, what is she doing? What is she doing? What? What is she doing now? This Christmas, my sister-in-law got me a ring light. Not just any ring light, the fancy kind of ring light that beauty blockers use. Up until this point, yes, the, what, five years I've been on YouTube, I had been using a book light stacked on top of... A pile of books. As you can see by the uh, ghostly lighting, I'm still kind of figuring everything out. But I figure, what better way to break in a beauty blogger ring light than by playing beauty blogger? <laughs> Did you just unsubscribe? That's okay, I get it. So I told you guys in one of my videos, I love skincare, I love makeup, it's true. Um, now, let's not get confused. Just because I love makeup, doesn't really mean I know much about it. In fact, for someone who knows pretty little about it, I spend an outrageous amount of time in Sephora. Do you guys want to see me get ready for the day? No? <laughs> Sucks for you. Huh. Oh my goodness, what is that? That's my face. But what is that mystifying red mustache? My friends, that is hormonal acne. Get it when your body which is naturally equipped to use and deal with hormones, forgets what it's supposed to do and makes a real mess of things. Why am I showing you this, even though it's a little bit mortifying? My friends, I am 24 years old. Most people I know have acne. I guess I've kind of decided that it's okay. And plus, Jordan's, Jordan's married to me. So he's stuck. <laughs> There's nothing he can do. So yeah, like I said, hormonal acne, lots of fun. Currently, I'm using Curology, so we'll see how... We'll see how that little experiment goes. This is Aquaphor. I carry it with me everywhere because my lips are always dry and I bite them a lot. See, the, the videos you've seen of me where I'm wearing lipstick, I usually put on a bunch so you can see it on the camera and then immediately just swipe it all off because even though I really love lipstick, it dries my lips out like the dickens. So these days I have a couple of options. I can wear my favorite matte, berry or nude colored lipstick and have my lips look like a topical map of the Grand Canyon, or I can wear lip gloss and look like Britney Spears circa 2001. Or I could just wear Aquaphor, which also kind of looks like a gloss, but no glitter. It's basically just petroleum jelly. Let's get started, shall we? Okie dokie. This broken bag is brought to you by Glossier. I've had it for about a year now. The primer is new. A Sephora representative insisted I take a sample because I'm a sucker. So you just kind of well, make sure your hands are clean. Dirty hands are gross, and you just kind of there, there, face pat, pat. It's called optical illusion. It's urban decay. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to do. I think fill in pores, but I have really dry skin, so it fills in the pores for the skin that is normal, and then it just kind of flakes all day in the parts of the skin that is not. And that's about like one third of my skin. Well. Cassidy, why do you use it then? Well, the thing is, no matter what I use, my skin never looks perfect. So I don't really hope for that. I just like hope to get as close as possible. Just if I can look in the flickering white light of my works restroom and not think, oh, that's not, oh, well, that's, that's real bad. That's the worst thing I've ever seen. It's a good day. Yeah? Foundation beauty blender that I got from my Ipsy bag. 
90% of the time, I just wash my hands and use my fingers. Um, but I would 100% prefer to use a brush or beauty blender basically all the time. But I'm super lazy and I never wash them. And I'm really grossed out by like gross brushes and stuff. It's a vicious cycle. It's, it's hard to be pretty when you're also lazy. I also feel like I should point out this makeup routine changes on the daily. Like one day I decide, oh, you know what I haven't tried? I haven't tried, I don't know, putting it on upside down. That'll change everything. To quote the Princess Diaries as usual, it's as good as it's gonna get. As you can see, the zits are still present. Amazing. This is my perpetually red nose. See? I could put a million pounds of foundation on it. It won't make a difference. Concealer? Forget it. Especially because my nose is always peely. I'm gonna let that just like sit. I can't tell you how freaking thrilled I was when I realized like glossy glowy skin was in because uh, as a sufferer of combination skin, I take that oil, right? And I strut with it. I strut with it right down the catwalk of life and people look at me and go, wow, her strobing. <laughs> yes, my strobing. <laughs> Okie dokie. Hi bros. So I'm going through like a weird period in my life where I can't decide if I want my eyebrows to be like beautiful and groomed and like symmetrical or if I want them to be like crazy like the girls who write for Into the Gloss and like, you know, they just put some gel through it and there's their day. The thing is, I technically have thick brows, but they also are like missing parts and they're not like traditional Apache. Like people always tell me, your brows sisters. They're not identical twins. Well, yes. But what if my eyebrows are strangers who have never met? They don't know each other. They've never bumped shoulders in the street. They don't know. They are strangers in the night. Mm -mm. So here's what I do. It's a very detailed process. You ready? You dip your brush in the pomade and you hope for the best. I honestly cannot, I don't know what I'm doing here. This is, every day I pick up this incredibly expensive and like full, you know, stay proof pomade and just like take a deep breath and, and I dive in. So right now the eyebrow phase I'm going through is uh, too lazy to pluck them, let them grow. And when people ask, I'm like, I just want that wild brow. Okay, step, I don't know. Steal a bunch of these from Sephora. I've done it a million times. They don't usually stop you. And I brush. Because that's what the models on Instagram do. Ha! These are meant for your ears, but I never use them for my ears, and I don't think they've ever been used for my ears. I kind of just, I don't know, see which eyebrow is misbehaving and make them clean up their act. <laughs> Gosh, I'm gonna post this somewhere public. If I were a responsible adult person who was interested in looking good for her adult career all the time, I'd go through with one of these thingies and some concealer and like double clean it up. The, the mantra for this really should be just like, hope for the best. Cause that's, that's just how it goes. But, uh, I mean, I feel like this is a little bit misleading because the fact of the matter is this step gets skipped 90% of the time. See, unruly brows coming in, that's another gift for you lazy girls out there. See, you're not lazy. You are couture. They're probably uneven. This is a small mirror. I can't see them both at once. That's how they always are. One of these goes like, <laughs> wee this way, and the other one's like, woo. Okay, so this is where it's gonna get really fun because I can't find my concealer But what I did find is an old concealer and then I just put a bunch of rosehip oil in it and and hoped for the best Again This is too, okay. You know what I'm going for it. I do not recommend this at all. It grosses me out a little bit but like Honestly, I can't I can barely get this on my skin So we're using this grody thing and I'm sure it's just gonna make my acne better but I'm just going to swipe on that red mustache that we all love so much. Pat, and I honestly, no idea how this is going to shake out. Probably not well. Ooh, I live off of samples. This is the truth. Speaking of samples, Ipsy. I got this from Ipsy. Um, what is contour? 
don't know. So what but I do is I take this, which comes from this, but I'm using the sample, is I kind of like so contour, right? You go whoop. It's super pale too, so you know bronzer's not doing me a ton of favors. It just kind of makes me look less. Uh, I lost my highlighter too. Moving on. My blush is broken. Deal with it. Uh, the blush is, uh, Tarte. Or Tarte. This came from Ipsy. Now, speaking of products that are old and you have to put stuff in them. Selling solution. Cassidy, that's gross! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I picked a really good time to make this video because, um... A patch of eyelashes is missing right here. This always happens to me at a very opportune time. Going to the gym, mascara's flawless. Target at 8 o'clock p.m. on a Tuesday. Oh, you betcha, she got them lashes. A uh, uh, video in front of many, many people where her lashes at. So what is the defining factor that dictates whether or not I have two coats of eyelash paint for maximum voluptuousness? versus one coat. To answer that question, you have to ask yourself another question. How many times did Cassidy press snooze this morning? What the heck? Let's be ambitious. Let's just go for it. A second coat. I don't know if the ring light makes like a huge difference, but uh, with just my regular lighting, I have to put on like eight coats of mascara in order for my eyes to show up at all on camera. And whenever you sweet, sweet people compliment my eyelashes, I just kind of chuckle a little bit. I appreciate it, but know that I do not deserve your praise. On a good day, we remember that we have black specks uh, because mascara missed where it was supposed to go. Ooh, and sometimes the mascara gets stuck on these little hairs that I have right here. It's really pretty. To finish off, L'Oreal something, because the name is scratched off, that you put some more oil into because it also dried out. Gosh, I really need to get to Target, you guys. Like, or Ulta, I don't know, anywhere, like Stat. And you just kinda, you tell those brows, you say, hey, I'm gonna put you in your place. It's odd, cause I always leave the house thinking my eyebrows look pretty okay. Maybe even Brooke Shieldsy. But then I realize what I actually look like is a little bit like a gremlin. Oh, I just popped my neck real hard. That felt pretty good. What do you guys think? It's a pretty put together looking lady, huh? You guys have been requesting this, so I hope. I, I hope that you have been satiated. But honestly, some real advice. I know a lot of women who have been putting themselves down lately because they feel like they can't take the time to look like Instagram models, or they can't cover up their freckles, or they're not sure what to do with their eyebrows and they can't make them like that perfect fade square or they like yeah it's no new thing that women have insecurity problems I mean I mean I've been a woman for about 24 years now but I'm seeing it more and more and I know I have no magic words to just make those insecurities go away but honestly I don't really care that much about what people think of my face I kind of care what I think of my face and if I can get myself to not care, well then, then I can just start having fun. Oh, oh, hold on, guys. Waffles has something to say. Yes, sir? If you can find a way to embrace instead of being ashamed of your flaws, go for it. Because then no one can touch you. Want to see him do a backflip? Ugh.